demanding that the administration take action now about what one senator calls the worldwide war on Christians. It comes after a horrifying attack on a Christian wedding this weekend. Four were killed, including an eight-year-old and a 12-year-old little girl. More than a dozen were injured. Joining me now, Brooke Goldstein. She's a human rights attorney and director of the Lawfare Project, which is a nonprofit organization dedicated to combating abusive pervasions of legal systems. Brooke, thank you for being here. That's Rand Paul uh, saying that there is a, now a worldwide war on Christians, and it's being ignored. Do you agree with him, and if so, why? Absolutely. First of all, I want to commend uh, Rand Paul for bringing this to the government's attention, to bringing the media attention to this issue, because what we're seeing is a systematic persecution, not just of Christians, but of all minorities in the Muslim world. And anyone who is brave enough to speak out against this, anyone who is brave enough to say that minorities in the Muslim world deserve human rights, is being targeted as an Islamophobe. And frankly, this administration, the Obama administration, is quicker to condemn the criticism of Islam as he did twice, once in Cairo and another time at the UN, than he is to call out Islamist terrorism for what it is. This administration has a worldview that Islamist terrorism doesn't even exist. The words Islam, the words Jihad have been purged from counterterrorism training manuals. The Muslim Brotherhood, which is the organization that is spearheading, the terrorist organization that is spearheading the persecution of Christians in Egypt, is being whitewashed in counterterrorism training manuals and you have an all-out denial. There should be a case study done about how the West is reacting or not reacting for that matter to the genocide of Christians in Muslim countries. What could they do though? What could the wet to what, what the media more could, could we do? do? I mean, you, you you might think the administration doesn't want to stoke the fires, doesn't want it. maybe they're going about it by sort of with the arm reached out to create a more, you know, sort of kinder, gentler relationship, hoping to inspire a change in behavior. I don't know. Well, what the administration is doing in its Muslim outreach program is basically propping up the Muslim, the Muslim Brotherhood as we did in Egypt and also coddling the Muslim brother, the Brotherhood. Think about it. When the President of the United States went to Cairo, he invited the Muslim bro the Brotherhood that was then banned to sit in the front row and he basically parroted the line, the future does not belong to those who defame the Prophet of Islam. When we consider what's happening under the guise of blasphemy to those in Muslim-majority countries, what's happening to them when they are accused of defaming Islam, that was a very strong statement So, but what are make. the options? I mean, when you see the, you know, the, the and the re attacks on Christians have been repeated, I mean, we've covered them at length in Egypt now, they're just looking the other way. I mean, basically, you can do it with impunity because even the cops are saying, don't even bother reporting it, we're not going to look into it or do anything about it. Uh, and so now we're reviewing the aid to Egypt mm -hmm. under the under the current regime. Uh, but what more should we be do? Should we be cutting aid to Egypt? Well, I mean, it's not just Egypt. You know, how ironic is it that we are having this conversation now when Morsi came into power and he was advocating for the persecution of Christians and more people were thrown in jail and murdered during Morsi's regime than was the entire time Mubarak is in power, that we are only now reconsidering our aid. We have to support the Egyptian government in lawfully protecting minorities. Also, we have to stop supporting blasphemy laws. The Obama administration co-sponsored with the Muslim Brotherhood and the Organization of the Islamic Cooperation a, a, a resolution at the UN that criminalizes the use of the media to condemn Islam. We are supporting the pretext under which Christians are being murdered. Brooke, thank you for being here. Thank you for Appreciate having me.